In this example, we're given a polar equation of a conic section, and we can tell that it's a conic section based on the work that we did to derive the formulas for general conic sections. But we're, we don't know what conic section this is, so we want to try to find this out, describe what it is. So in general, what we need to do to describe any conic section, especially when we're given in this form, is we need to find the eccentricity E and the directrix D. So this D here is the uh, value of the equation, either x or y equals plus or minus D. And before we even write anything else down, we can see that because this has a cosine theta, our, direction, our directrix is x equals something. And because this sign is a minus, x has got to be equal to minus D. Okay, so without even finding D, um, we know for sure by the form of this equation that this is going to be the case. Now, if there's a minus sign up here or somewhere else, then maybe we can't make this uh, determination yet. But based on the way that this equation was given to us, we can write that down for sure. We just have to find the value of D now. The eccentricity, remember, is a positive number. So E is positive, And we are then going to have to determine if E is either equal to 1 or greater than or less than 1. And that will tell us what kind of conic section we're dealing with. Remember that the general form, especially with this minus here, the general form of the conic section equation is this is equal to e times d over 1 minus e cosine of theta. Again, e is the eccentricity, not the number e. It's a little, a little deceiving here. So this is the form that we want to get this into. This number right here in particular has to be a 1. It's not a 1, right? It's not a 1 right now. So the first step is to factor out a 3. Okay, so this right here is our goal. We are instead, we're going to start back with our equation that we were given. 10 over 3 minus 2 cosine of theta. And the first job is to factor out a 3. When we do that, we can just put it on top like this, right? This is 10 thirds. And the numerator becomes 1 minus 2 thirds cosine of theta. And this is good. If we compare this equation with this one, we see now that 2 thirds, that must be the eccentricity. So E has to be equal to 2 thirds to make the denominator match the form that we want. Now when we see that, we also now notice that the top is not just a, it's not factored out correctly, right? So we need to factor out what we know has to be in there, a 2 thirds, and write this as a product of what's left. So our R, obviously, to get from 2 thirds to 10 thirds has to be multiplied by 5. So this is 5 times 2 thirds over 1 minus 2 thirds cosine of theta. And again, we've already noticed that we have our eccentricity here, so that leaves us with our directrix's equation right here of 5. And so that tells us that D is 5. And at this point, we know everything we need to know about our conic section. The second part of our question asks us to sketch the graph. We don't really need to sketch it perfectly, but we do need to identify which kind of, what kind of conic section this is. So let me go to the next page. Remember, we have a conic section with eccentricity 2 thirds, directrix um, given by, so that's d equals 5. But remember, the equation was x equals negative 5 because of the minus in front of the cosine. Our directrix is over there. And so if we were to plot, and remember the focus in polar coordinates, the focus is always the pole. I'm going to give it zero with a hat and put it in vector notation. The, the focus is always the pole. And so if we just plot very tersely here, we plot our focus where it's supposed to go. And we can then plot our directrix. Uh, whoops, x equals negative 5. So that's going to be over here. So there's our directrix, x equals negative 5. And then our eccentricity is 2 thirds. 2 thirds is obviously less than 1. And whenever E is less than 1, then your conic section is an ellipse. And so this is going to be an ellipse with eccentricity 2 thirds. And this will trace out then a shape similar to this. And so there's the conic section given by R equals 10 over 3 minus 2 cosine of theta. The graph is not exact, but that's the general shape of this conic section.